What is up guys? I am back. I had a long two day trip. So I think two days ago I was shooting a music video at nighttime and then I had four hours of sleep. Had to wake up early morning, had to head to San Diego, had to come back. I'm all burned up. So if I'm super ready, please forgive me. But anyways, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the three things that you need if you own the Nanlite Pavel tubes. So let's get on with it. So now what are the three things that you need for the Pavel tubes? Well, let's start off with the first one. Now, before we get on with this video, I do wanna say I'm not sponsored by Nanlite. Let's clear that out the way. So the first thing you need if you own a Nanlite Pavel tube, now keep in mind, it does not matter if you have a two footer or a four footer. This goes for either one, but basically it's a grip head and then this stud right here. So you're able to mount the clamp that the Nanlite Pavel tubes come with. So you're able to put it in here. Just kinda let me show you guys so you guys can see what I mean. All right, and this is what the grip head will do. So you'll put it on a light stand, right? So you'll cl clamp it like that. And then the beautiful part about this is with this grip head, you're able to adjust it. So if you wanna make an X, you can. If you wanna put it straight up, you can. If not, the clamp itself, if you put it directly on a light stand, it's only gonna be sideways. But if you want it vertical, the grip here will allow you to make an X or different type of design. So this is one good thing to have. And it's pretty cheap. I'll link everything that I'm gonna talk about in the description below. But this one I think only cost me $20 from Sammy's camera, but I'm gonna look for something on Amazon that's similar. And this stud here that allows you to screw in the clamp that it comes with the Pavel tube. So this is the first accessory. It's definitely good. You're able to kind of give designs. You're able to like, you know, if you want to do triangle, you can definitely do it like that. So this ball head is just something that you guys should consider. Now the next thing that you guys should own if you own the Nanlite Pavel tubes, it's this one right here, which is a Nanlite double Pavel tube holder, whatever you want to call this. So I'll leave in the description everything so you guys can go ahead and know what the name of this is. But basically, this is more of something pretty cool. So you're able to mount two, I have the rest of them. One's over there and the other ones are over there. So I don't have two to show you guys, but you guys get the point. So you're able to mount two and the same thing. It has like a little screw here where you can just loosen it up and you're able to maneuver it. So if you wanna like get crazy with designs and just kind of overall up that production look, not so simple of just having this, you know, sideways or straight, you're able to just make designs. So this will allow you to do so. But yeah, this is a pretty cool accessory. It's not expensive. I think it was like 80 bucks or so, but my boy Kevin gave me this for Christmas and I've been using it ever since. I think I used it already on three music videos. So this is actually another cool thing to have. And the third thing you guys should go for, and this is my most favorite, it is something that I, I will recommend for you guys to ASAP, get it automatically, because it's just gonna up that production. It's gonna up your videos if you guys know how to utilize them, is this Nanlite fabric barn door thing, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, again, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that link in the description below. I, I forgot the name of this, but it's like a barn door, obviously. And the reason why I will, I don't recommend this, like you should have this, is because if you want to manipulate the image, like wherever you're filming, if you just want to control lighting better, this allows you to do so. I'm actually going to show you guys right now a shot talking to you guys with this on the side of me and then another power tube without it. So you guys are able to see how much this controls, how much it stays within the area, opposed to this one right here, is gonna flood everywhere. So let me go ahead and show you guys two samples real quick. Now you see, this is with the Nanlite with the fabric barn door onto it. So you kind of see how the blue is just on me. There's, It's just strictly on my skin. It's not flooding everywhere. So it's definitely something good to have. If you wanna separate your subject from the background or you wanna have it as a background where it's not just gonna flood everywhere. You just want it to light up that particular area. This fabric barn door is definitely gonna allow you to do so. And now let me go ahead and show you guys this Pavel tube without the barn door. So you guys can see how much it's gonna flood everywhere. So one second. Now this image that you guys are watching is with the Nanlite Pavel tube without the barn door grid. So as you can see, still hitting my face, but the background's lit up more. It wasn't like the previous image that the background stayed dark, it stayed the same. With this, it kind of just hits everywhere. So it's kind of bad. That's one reason why I would say if you want to up that production, the barn door is definitely going to help you just utilize the Pavel tube a lot better. It's going to allow you to just choose what you want to select in terms of brightness and color and whatnot. And it's going to give you overall better control with the lighting. 
And that's pretty much it guys. Those are the three things that I would recommend for you guys to go ahead and purchase. It's not expensive for each product if you think about it. I think the barn door grill was like 60. You know what, I'm not even gonna talk about the pricing. I, all the links are linked in the description below. I do not wanna give you guys the false pricing, but just know those three things are definitely something that you guys should consider buying. For sure the barn door grill, the other two is more of if you guys wanna go with designing and whatnot for the lighting. But anyways, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, drop it a like, comment, and subscribe. You already know we always say those three things at the end of the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.